Nothing says summer like fresh strawberries and sweet citrus fruits. And today on Stamp TV, I'm going to show you how to make a sweet birthday card for anyone on your summer birthday list. Let me show you the tools and products you'll need to do this card project. First, you're going to need some stamps, and I'm using some of the fruit stamps from the You're So Sweet stamp set that comes in the new Days of Summer Stamp TV kit. I have this citrus slice, and then I have the strawberry bottom and the top, and I have one of the greetings, the Have a Sweet Birthday greeting. And then I grab this small flower from the Summer Blooms stamp set that's also in the Days of Summer kit. Then you're going to need a little ribbon, and I'm going to use some of this black gingham ribbon. You can use red gingham for this card, and you can use any of the colors once you see all the colors come together. You're going to need some ink, and I'm using some of the Gina K Designs Honey Mustard, the Red Hot, and the Grass Green ink. And then for cardstock, I have some of our white cardstock, the black onyx cardstock, and then I have a grass green card base ready to go. So I'm going to begin by making a fun background. And I'm going to use a piece of scratch paper underneath my mat here. And I'm going to start with some of the Red Hot ink. And I'm going to use the strawberry image. And I'm going to start by just doing the strawberry bases all over this piece of cardstock. Now you'll love how nice and vibrant and bright this stamps. Let me put my glasses on here so I can see what I'm doing. Now you know I like to start, when I'm doing a background, I like to start right in the middle of the piece of cardstock. So there's my first piece of strawberry, and then I'm going to work my way around. And you can see I'm turning the stamp as I go to create interest and not make it look too patterned. This one will go down here. I like to kind of do these parts first. And then you can do a small piece here like that that won't need a top. I'll do one there. One there. One there. Come in there. Let me turn this around. that piece right there. Okay, so there I have my strawberry stamped all over. Now my next image that I'm going to use is the little top. And this is pretty easy to see because you can see how closely cut that is. It's cut pretty much right up to the image. So it's pretty easy to position. And this one's going to be stamped in the grass green. So this one I'm going to stamp here like that. And remember, these are not supposed to line up. You want them to be kind of spaced a little bit out. So you want some of that white space showing. They won't fit perfectly no matter how much you try to line them up. You can't insert the top into the strawberry. It's not designed that way. It's designed to have a little bit of that white space showing. And I'm going to do one here. And that's all the green that I need for that card. Now, if you wanted to add a little bit more green, you could add a top here like that. Just to get a little bit of green in other places. Like that. There we go. So my next step is going to be to add a little bit of this honey mustard. And I want to do that with this little flower image wanted to bring in a different color, so I'm going to fill in some of this white space with these little bursts of honey mustard. It just gives it a fun, almost a 4th of July look. Of course, if you wanted to make this a more patriotic card, you could do these in blue, which would be kind of fun if you're having a Fourth of July cookout and you want to send out invitations, you could use this as an invitation and write the details inside. Okay, so there is my, oh, I think I'm going to just put a little in there. Yeah, that looks good. 
So there is my background. Now I want to do a panel. Here is a white piece of cardstock, and I'm going to play off of that same honey mustard color, but I'm going to use this citrus slice. Now, I didn't want to make my citrus a lemon, and I didn't want to make it an orange, so I thought I would kind of go in between and use this honey mustard color, and then it could be whatever fruit the person wanted to imagine it to be. So I'm going to stamp one right in the middle, like that. And then I'll stamp one right next to it on that side and stamp one right next to it on this side. There we go. So there are three, they kind of look like orange slices to me. And I'm going to layer that on top of this little black onyx panel. But before I do that, I've got one more little image I want to stamp, and that is actually the greeting. So I'm going to use this block with this line on it, and I'm going to line up the stamp right along that line. And you can see how close, again, that that's trimmed. So you can kind of nail this without even having to line it up. But it does help if you've got a line on your block to line that up. So. I will need a black ink pad for that, so I'm going to use the Gina K Designs Black Onyx Pad. You can use any black you have. Make sure it's inked up, and I'm going to stamp that right along the edge there like that. Have a sweet birthday. So you can see how easy that is to line up. You can get it perfectly straight without any problem at all. And I'm going to put that little panel aside, and we can start assembling this fun card. Now I'm going to adhere these two together, this strip, along with this black onyx panel. And I want to make sure that it's lined up on both sides, that there's no black showing once I get the top panel on, on the sides there. And there's not. That looks good. And then I'm going to add a little fun ribbon accent here. So I'm going to cut a little bit of this black gingham off right there. And I'm going to tape that onto the back. So I'll position it right about there. You can put it anywhere you want. And add a little tape on both sides and then just fold that over. Make sure that looks straight, and it does. And I'm going to take my strawberry panel and tape that onto a piece of black onyx as well. Line that up. I love this little eighth of an inch border. It's just such a nice little accent. It doesn't look bulky at all. It's a delicate border. And then this panel is going to go on top. But before I do that, I've got a little piece of black onyx cardstock here, and I'm going to layer that greeting onto that black onyx cardstock. Make sure I have a nice little border. Same eighth of an inch going around. And then I'm going to tape the whole panel right under that little strip, like that. And I'll do that just by adding a little bit of tape here. And then while looking at it, I'm going to position it exactly where I want it. So that looks pretty good, nice and straight. And then this whole panel is going to go right on top position it where I want it. Now if I'm looking at that and I think this ribbon should be moved over just a hair, so I'm going to do that. I'm just going to slide it over. There's plenty of tape back there because I want to get it a little bit away from that greeting. And you can reposition things before you do your final taping down. So that looks a little better to me. And I'm going to adhere this whole panel onto the front of this card and tape down that ribbon as well. This 
whole thing will go right about there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of ribbon and I'm going to tie it right on to that little bit that I've already put on like that and then cut it on an angle on both sides and I want to cut it the opposite way on this side so that's a nice little ribbon accent there and then this whole panel is going to go on to my grass green card base and that really brings out the little grass green tops from the strawberries. So I will add a little adhesive to the back and pop that onto my card base. And there is my finished card project. Try mixing in other fruit from the You're So Sweet stamp set to bring in other fun, bright colors. And send a summer sweet birthday card to anyone on your list.